Hey sports fans, here we are out at the cottage, here at the cabin on Friday, and this is our regular Friday update. So, here's the battery box for the uh, um, for the batteries for the solar system. I got it on its side because I've been staining it, so there's two coats of stain all the way around. This is a little, um, um, there's gonna, that piece of plywood that's down there, this goes on here as a roof to keep, to keep the water off it, and then I've got Deal to go on top of that um, for the roof of this thing. Um, again, it's on its side because I had to do the bottom. But anyway, so we've got her open. It's all done with plywood inside and then the two inch solid, solid foam insulation. And we got our hinges and our latch on it and our handle. Um, these are the runners on the bottom that are gonna sit on the concrete blocks outside and I'll show you them in a minute. They're uh, sticking out two inches from the back because it's going to space two inches from the back of the um, the back of the wall. So we got that, and um, I, I stained this. Well, I had the can open, so it wasn't a big deal. And we'll go from there. It's a beautiful day out here. It's absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, so. Um, what do we got? A little bit on the muggy side. It's like 25 degrees Celsius or 77 dungarees Fahrenheit. So feeders are full up. We had lots of animals out and eating. And uh, we're still working on the trench and stuff and getting that going. I brought out some concrete blocks. And I got some concrete blocks and put them up here. So this is where the battery box is going. So it's gonna sit on top of these blocks the two inches away or from this wall. So it'll keep it two inches out. And then the steel will go right up into here to hopefully, so there's no water. So when the conduit will come up, come up, I'll put a piece inside and then it's going through here into the cabin, the conduit, and then we'll bring it up through the floor. But what I've been working on today is all over here. I stopped and I picked up some lumber this morning. I still need a little bit more. I think I'm gonna need two more pieces. But anyway, I got more, I got three more pieces in the in the shed. So this is the base for our outhouse. <clears throat> Pits all dug, all cleaned out. I got this all leveled off. I had to use deck blocks on this side and patio stones on this side to give it some support. And we got here, this is going to be the hole so we've got it all braced up there's going to be another double there's going to be another two by four uh, pressure treated going along the edge there to double that up for strength um and then we'll build the box to go on that yada 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 um put the floor in so this whole thing is not going to be well it's there's going to be a roof over it but i think coming to where are we going here where my foot is so that's going to give 16, but 32 it's at, uh, from the front. And then I'm going to put the wall up for inside. So that'll give us lots of room inside. And it's going to give us, a, I don't know what you call it, a deck out the front. So you can come up here. You, if you got a jacket or something, you can take it off before you go in. It'll be under cover of a roof when it's, if it's raining and stuff like that. So it's just, you know, making it kind of fancy, I guess. But anyway... This is what we got. It's not perfectly level, but it's pretty close. It's close enough for government work. Let's put it that way. Um, and then I just got, uh, I guess I need one, two, one, two, three, four, five more two by eights. I got three in the shed. Um, so I got to buy two more. Um, I wasn't exactly sure I was going to do it till I got laying it out today. And, uh, so that's what we got going on. Um, and it's actually not a bad, like it's nice and shaded and it's out of the rain and stuff like that. I'm gonna put a metal roof on. I got lots of spare metal down at the bottom, down to the down by the pit where all my stuff is. I've saved some. Um, what else we got going on? That's been the major stuff going on is getting the battery box ready to go because I've been staining it all week. And we just got that. I got one more piece of conduit left. 
um, in here to do that with. And then all the little supplemental pieces to get it to the box. Once I get it to the box, then I can start hauling, um, I can start pulling wires. Um, as you can see, we still got, we still got the, uh, the landscaping to do and stuff like that, but it's filled in roughly for now and that's good enough to drive on. It's like, who cares? It's the property. It's not like the queen's coming to visit and, and the grass has to be exactly inch and a half high. We don't care. Well, we kind of do. I do have to cut the grass, um, but um, I was busy this week. So once I get that con, once I get that box in and the conduit piped, I can start doing other stuff as well as the outhouse. So um, that's really what's going on. We got some more wood coming. I got some firewood over there to split. I got some more. Um, a tree fell over there last week, so I got to bring it up and cut it up and split it along with this stuff. Um, oh, I did buy a moisture meter from Amazon and all that wood's dry, like it's acceptable. It's in the low status. There's a couple pieces that are like 12, 13%, um, but the rest of it seems to be about eight or so. Um, and even over here, well, there's a little bit more. This was a standing dead tree um, that we cut up. So um, it had fallen down over the winter and it's, it's mostly like a little high at like 12, 11, 12, 13, 14%. So it would burn in a pinch and probably by the end of the summer, it'll be good. So um, we've got these two will be um, um, loaded into the shed or along the, the side of the, the sea can where we keep our, uh, we keep our firewood, so we're going to have this pallet here and these two pallets for firewood will be split up today or this this year because I got a couple falling down that I got to cut up and do. And uh, that's really it. Oh, the um, the water's still going good. The the pail for the uh, um, for the willow tree, I've been keeping it watered. It's growing. It seems to be doing really well. And I'm hoping it does really well this year. It's really going good. Freaking darn mosquitoes and deer flies are out. It's just driving me crazy. And this needs to be mowed too. It's just, it's a little bit high. But again, it's other stuff going on. So, you can see, I don't know how well you can see. Maybe you can see better from up here. There we go. Is that better? Get right down to it. So it seems to be growing really well. Um, there's moisture down there coming out. So it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So that's good. I don't really, let's take a look here. In here. Yeah, we still got about a third of a barrel left. I've only got a slow drip. Like it's, it's like drip, 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 which is more than enough to keep that moist. Because and it, it seems to be growing really well. Like it's from that one piece that grew with the little branches. There's been a lot growing. So I'm hoping it's going to do really well. We get some good uh, good root development this year. And uh, it seems to be fairly thick at the bottom that's doing well. So I'm happy with that. Um, the deer are eating the corn. The animals are eating my corn. They're eating my apples. I've seen squirrels running off. I cut the apples in half. I've seen the squirrels running off with a half an apple. I've seen the crows running, flying off with a half an apple. Never seen a crow fly with a half an apple before. You'd think it would throw the balance off, but apparently not. Lots of groundhog activity out here today. They've been running around all over the place, eating corn, eating grass, doing what groundhogs do. So, I don't think we're coming out tomorrow. It's supposed to rain a ton, so there's no point being out here. Um, but I think we might be coming out on Sunday, in which case we are... Well, let's take a walk over here. We'll do an update on this. And then you'll see what's going on. We'll take pictures for later. So we still got a lot of rocks and stuff in here. And this has got to be raked up. But like I say, it'll come in time. I'm not too worried about it. So I gathered up piles of debris 
from the outhouse when we blew it up. So this is all the stuff that was out in the front, in the thing. And then we got little piles back here. I'm gonna be taking down. I found the tin, there was like three pieces of tin. I blew it into three pieces. One was up in the tree. Another one was, another one was there, mangled up in that tree. And then there was another piece that was over here. And I had to go probably 20 yards back into this woods, still picking up. And there's still some pieces back there, but it's like, ah, frigate. So I got this pile, this pile, this pile, and this pile, and these, and then the little pile out there. So that's, that's a lot of debris. And it really blew the crap out of it. <laughs> Pun intended. Um, so that's what's going on with that. Um, you can see it did shatter the one little tree back there. It shattered a bit, and then you got shrapnel damage on all these other trees. Bark peeled off, leaves falling down. Watch the video from last week. It was totally awesome. But uh, we're going to put the... Um, I, I took the, the water system out that I had for hand washing, and I hooked it up here temporarily so I can still wash my hands if I need to. Hook the pump back in, and away we go. Um... If it's decent on Sunday, we come out here. Uh, the frames will be going up on the roof as well as the, um, um, whatchamacallit there. The, uh, we might be able to get the, uh, the metal pieces up for the panel and get that done. So I'm hoping that's gonna happen. Other than that, um, that's kind of where we are at the moment. Um, the other thing we're gonna do is we gotta build a little roof for the, to protect the uh, wood hauler. And still don't know, I got an open space there. I got to buy another piece of equipment to fill it up, I guess. So none of the other stuff, it, you know, will really fit in there. So the lawnmower's in there. I was going to put the wood hauler in there, but it won't lift up high enough. I'm not building a ramp. Like, like come on, let's be serious. So, um, don't know. So maybe it'll stay like it is and it'll just be storage. But anyway... So that's what's happening. Um, not really much else going on. We're just concentrating on these projects to get them finished because that was the two big projects I wanted this year. Build a new outhouse and install the solar system. So the battery box is the next step in the chain for that. And the frames, hopefully we'll get that done this weekend. And once we do that, if I can get the frames up and the, uh, the metal, uh, bracket, metal mounting brackets for them, then the next time that we get some help out here, um, we run the co run the uh, power cables, and uh, yeah, a little chippy having some corn or seeds or something. Um, we run the power cables and put the uh, put the panels up, and then basically it's done. It's ready to go. It's just a little bit of wiring to play with. Well, there's your update for today, sports fans. That's what we got going on here. Continuing on with the two projects. And uh, not coming out tomorrow because it's supposed to rain. We'll be out here Sunday. Might try and get some video Sunday with, with what we got done. Um, don't know if the lumber yard's open Sunday morning or not. If not, probably Monday. I'll start, I'll finish off that uh, that flooring and stuff like that. And then I got, I got tons of plywood. You saw, I got tons of plywood over there to put on the floor for that. And then we can start building walls and get that covered up. So anyway, there's your update for this Friday and uh, we'll see you here.